Hello, and thank you very much for joining us for this SecureSync demo. My name is Eric Oler. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Arolia. In today's demo, we're going to cover what a SecureSync does and what makes it unique. We'll jump into the web UI to show you the settings you have control over, and we'll show you how you can synchronize your network infrastructure. You can use our friendly chatbot in the lower right to ask any questions, request a quote, purchase directly in our online store, or request to speak to sales. And we've got links to our data sheet and brochure so you can learn more about the specs and benefits we'll cover in the next few minutes with another link to our online store. The SecureSync is a time and frequency reference system designed to synchronize critical military and commercial infrastructures. It receives signals from any GNSS constellation or group of satellites in the world. Once it acquires a lock with the satellites, you can use that time signal to synchronize your network with nanosecond accuracy. That's one billionth of a second precision. Now, why all this talk about accuracy? Well, accuracy becomes important when your network needs to stay synchronized continuously 100% of the time. For example, you might manage a distributed network of data centers in multiple locations for a financial institution that makes millions of trades per second. Or you're building an array of radar missile defense systems that need to communicate with each other in real time when they detect an airborne threat where every second counts. And in public safety applications, SecureSync is fully NENA compliant and used in over 90% of US 911 call centers, delivering precise, legally traceable time. How can you ensure that your entire network is synchronized? And how can you ensure that it stays synchronized? The solution is to have a resilient time source that never fails. If the SecureSync were to lose the signal from the satellites or detect an interference attempt, it can switch to a backup time reference. In this case, it'll keep generating an accurate time signal to ensure your network equipment remains synchronized and operational. And even if all of the backup time references are lost, the SecureSync can employ its internal oscillator to output the time signal. It'll keep producing time for your network until it reacquires a lock with GPS again, at which point it will seamlessly transition back to the primary source. Your network continues to run the whole time, uninterrupted by these faults. When you start configuring your SecureSync, you can choose between different oscillators which have varying levels of accuracy, depending on what your requirements are. The SRO100 Rubidium Oscillator, for example, provides cutting-edge 1 nanosecond resolution. SecureSync is field-proven, with over 20,000 units deployed supporting military and critical infrastructure in over 100 countries. It's well known for its reliability and backed by a 5-year warranty and supported by a world-class support team. It's our brand promise that you can depend on. The second important aspect about SecureSync is its built-in cybersecurity features that keep your network safe. The SecureSync protects against two security threat entry points, network threats and GNSS threats. The network threats are addressed by access control lists, centralized authentication including LDAP, radius authentication, and TACAX Plus, and port settings control. This gives you control over who has access to the time server. And also, which devices on the network can securely communicate with the time server and retrieve the timing information. There are a handful of other security settings you can configure, including password expiration controls, configurable IP firewall tables. SSH allows you to securely transmit data and issue remote commands. The SSH protocol supports both public and private key generation. SecureSync makes integrating into your network management system simple by supporting encrypted SNMP v3 and REST API. We even provide sample scripts to help get you started. SecureSync protects against GNSS security threats with a built-in Interference Detection Mitigation Suite, or IDM. IDM employs anti-jamming and spoofing algorithms to detect signal threats. To combat jamming, the SecureSync toughens the GNSS signal with anti-jam antennas, or by allowing you to choose an alternative timing source when GNSS is lost. To protect against spoofing, the SecureSync comes with built-in anti-spoofing software which can recognize and mitigate illegitimate signals. SecureSync is also the first time server to be DISA certified, which is the DoD's IT security standard. The SecureSync is flexible because you can configure it to match your requirements even if they're demanding or complex. If you've got an unusual requirement for a time server, we can accommodate it. On the rear panel, you can choose what types of connectors and interfaces you need. 
there are six slots you can populate with different option cards. In this example, the SecureSync has an option card with three Ethernet ports. This output is what you would use if you needed to synchronize your network with NTP and or PTP timing protocols. The rear panel we're looking at has a 1 gig precision time protocol or PTP option card. This output is what you would use if you've got a large distributed network that needs to scale. If you have a military application and you need an iRig timecode or encrypted signal like M code, there are slots for BNC connectors. Again, what you see here is only an example of one configuration. You can modify the inputs and outputs depending on your requirements. The flexibility with option cards lets you keep costs down. You add only what you need. The SecureSync is also field upgradable, meaning you can swap out old option cards and slide in new ones. This helps future-proof against any changes and requirements you might encounter. Simply change or upgrade your option cards, not an entire time server, for a lower total cost of ownership. Now that we've reviewed conceptually how the SecureSync works, let's jump into the web-based UI to see the SecureSync in action. SecureSync provides you with a web-based interface to monitor activity. The first thing you'll do is log in with a username. And I'll describe what's shown here. First, you'll see the current time of the unit. In the main screen, you'll see the status of the system. The reference I'm using right now to synchronize is GNSS, GNSS0, and the approximate error that I'm seeing is between 1 microsecond and 10 microseconds. Power status is normal, green is good, and it's not in a holdover or anything. Right below that, you can see the event history. You can see that we disconnected the GPS antenna 20 hours ago, and now it's been reconnected. This tells you exactly what's happened in your system. And you can also dive deeper and get details on each event or search for an event, for example, if you wanted to know if there was a reboot. In the reference status system, you can see which time references you have and which takes priority. In this case, I've set an iRig input as a secondary timing reference. This is a common setup in the real world where you might need to have redundancy from a second secure sync unit to ensure that a backup is in place. If something happens, let's say your GPS antenna becomes disconnected, you'll see that status immediately in the performance window on the main page of the web UI. So let's take a look at what you would see if that were to happen. Now you can see immediately something has changed. My unit is still in sync, but there's a fault, and the web UI tells you there's a minor alarm and what the issue is. A GPS antenna problem, because I've taken it off for this demonstration. The time from the GPS is invalid, but the time from the iRig input, our backup unit, is still valid because it automatically switched to the next reference source. Now I will reconnect the GPS antenna. Okay, the GPS is back online, and it has reacquired a lock with the satellites. The SecureSync automatically detected that the antenna had been reconnected, and it's continuing to output highly precise time to the rest of the network. If you want more detail about the accuracy error between the reference source and the internal oscillator, you can click on the performance box to get more detailed information. If you want to revisit past events, you can take a look at the phase error magnitude line graphs. When I powered it up, you can see that the unit started out with a large phase error, but then acquired its timing information and then reduced it down. If I zoom in a little bit on the current time, you can see the past few days, the phase error has hovered around 200 nanoseconds in the positive or negative direction. In the Interfaces menu, you can see all the possible inputs and outputs of your customized unit. You can see a picture view of the rear panel and of all the inputs and outputs with their status. As you hover over an entry, the cursor will display the exact time of that connector. Clicking on a specific connector will bring you directly to that interface entry in the table below and show you its status. The management menu gives you options to configure the system, including security settings. For example, the authentication screen lets you control who will have access to this secure sync. You can either manually add users on the right with the plus button, or if you have a more complex network, you can integrate your existing network permissions using LDAP, RADIUS, or TACAX+. You can change your password or set mandatory password expirations. To access your network security settings, you would navigate to the Network Setup page. 
The access control button is where you can control which devices on the network are allowed to connect to your secure sync. SSH lets you set up host keys so you can securely transmit data and issue remote commands. In the Tools menu, you can check for security updates, save the configuration of the unit, and even access some of the detailed server logs. Lastly, in the Tools menu, you can access the BroadShield dashboard. If you elect to add BroadShield to your secure sync, you will get built-in cybersecurity. BroadShield cybersecurity will show you the current threats, either jamming or spoofing. Right now, the unit does not detect any threats, but if it did, you'd see the blue or green lines on this graph rise above the red line, which is the critical threshold line. At that point, the auto-sync control would automatically disable the GPS signal that it's synced to and switch to a backup source. That concludes our demo of SecureSync. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to solving more of your problems. You can use our friendly chatbot in the lower right to ask any questions, request a quote, purchase directly in our online store, or request to speak to sales. 